Hello everybody, I hope this finds you well. Um, I'd like to thank you all for the comments on my last video. Um, my mind slips sometimes. I wrote down metronome cube, or metronome instead of metatron. Uh, I don't know, I, I guess that little thing in front of the piano kicked in my head. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, the rest of it was right. Um, thanks for kindness to an old, crazy old man. Uh, that's not what this video is about, but I thought I'd throw that in there for you. Um, for future reference, you might say. Um, uh, been awful busy. Uh, town's almost got cleaned up from the tornado. Uh, still just a few places needing cleaned up yet. Uh, I saw a video the other day someone who used to live in Woodward had heard that Woodward was hit by a tornado and was upset that the town he grew up in was destroyed. I'll let you know that the town is not destroyed. It is quite intact. Uh, the tornado tore through an edge, kind of about a three house wide path of destruction through a couple of neighborhoods on the edge of town. Uh, if you're from around here, it, it goes from uh, Tangier Road across the middle of nowhere there and hurt some people there at Tangier Road and then it come on through and when it got to town it hit the neighborhood on the hill uh, above the lake and it went down through the went down through the uh, carpet store and the theater, totally destroying both of them. A few houses in that neighborhood were total, totally lost. Um, there was no loss there, I don't believe. There were some injuries. Most of those houses have good storm shelters uh, and safe rooms. And it was after business and the, after the theater was closed. So that was fortunate. It then crossed the highway, hit the Mutual of Omaha building, down the creek, up the hill, cutting through Cheyenne Drive and on back into that Western Hills section up there on the hill. Missed the school uh, there on the hill, went across the tracks and then wiped out the trailer court on the other side. The hideaway trailer court was one side of that trailer court, there's nothing there. Uh, the other side kind of tore up, but still there. That's where most of the loss of life in town was, is in that trailer court. Um, there doesn't seem to be any damage past that. The skating ring had only minor damage to a gutter. I didn't see any broken windows or damage on it at all, other than that gutter. The pipe yard over there just near that wasn't even touched and there's a lot of plastic pipe just sitting there. That tornado would have hit that you would have had a lot of big ass plastic pipe flying in the air at people. Probably lucky that didn't get hit but you know out there the old dump and the dog pound there, there's nothing out that way but the mud house and stuff. Uh, none of that was hurt. It was like it must have picked up right after it hit that trailer court. Um, I'd like to thank all the responders and all the help others have donated in the relief. It, the first responders were very good and professional and did their job real good. And the cleanup afterwards was excellent. The, all the insurance companies got there real quick and set up. Red Cross was right there helping out immediately uh, it seemed. Everything, uh, all the help uh, has been a good, good help. This town will rebuild. They are already starting to rebuild. Uh, it's just going to leave a little scar for a while. Um, 
So I just want to let y'all know that. And, uh, you know, for those of you that say, well, I would never live in a tornado area. It still sounds so dangerous. Well, tornadoes can hit anywhere. I mean, we just get them more because of the seasonal thing and our geographic location. Uh, but, uh, honestly, you can run from a tornado. You can take shelter from a tornado. And uh, most of the time, they land out in the middle of nowhere and don't hurt anything but trees and fences, maybe a cow or two. Much safer than living where there are earthquakes and floods and such. So, uh, you know, this town, last time it was hit by a tornado was in 47. Before I was born, just a little while, not long. It tore the town up. Uh, but the town was much smaller back then. Now, there are a lot of towns were hit that night and that week. In fact, we had a record since they've been recording these things in one week. There seems like there was more tornadoes in that week than there is in a usual year, almost. The sun is acting up. It's freaking out. That's what I blame most of it on. Of course, uh, been real beautiful weather here the last this last week, except for the chemtrails. Mm. They may have something to do with this too. You know, harp and all that going on. Weather wars and weather modification and geoengineering and all that crap going on. We have no clue. It's, uh, it's kind of like this. You see, in this world, ever since man can remember any hit, written history even before, there's always been two sides, uh, oftentimes at war with each other, which caused most of the conflicts and problems in this world. Now these two sides are both wrong. You know, there's no good side and bad side in this. One side you know, wants to rule over us, control us, make us slaves. The other one, they want to evolve us. Which means turn us into some kind of robots. You know, control our thoughts and such. Um, they think they're doing the right thing. They think they're helping mankind. The other side's just greedy and covetous and loves to hurt people. Now these two sides, though they are at odds and oftentimes in conflict, they will join forces when they are both threatened. And uh, they are threatened. Now, what is that threat? Where does it come from? And why are they threatened to buy it? Put on your armor, people. Peace, love, and understanding. And be with you all.